afternoon. It is June something, Wednesday, whatever the day is. I just got home from work yesterday, so I've lost track of the day already. Brian up here in Kingfield, Maine. I got one to show that I'm throwing up on my reverb. This is a 60s Harmony H165. All mahogany, all solid wood. Solid mahogany top. Solid mahogany back and sides. And it's been X-braced. So I've done the resto mod treatment on this one. Um, I love to get a hold of these old harmonies. The 1203s and the 165s are really, and the 1260, the jumbo. I'm settling into these being my favorites. But um, this one is the 165s are all solid wood. It does have what seems to be maybe a Spanish cedar neck. It's hard to tell. Rosewood fretboard, and probably in that era it might have been Brazilian. It's hard to say. This does have a replacement bridge on it, um, so it's not Brazilian, but some kind of rosewood. And it does have X bracing. So what I do is I pull the back off, I get inside, I thin the tops down as thin as I can because they're usually about, you know, they're a little over an eighth of an inch thick, and I like to get them down to a little over a tenth of an inch thick. So I'm down to like 0 0.110 or something. But after I take all the bracing out inside, I sand them on the inside, then I got a big long caliper I can reach all the way around and find the spots. And then I try to go a little thinner on the edges even than I do right in the middle. Leave a little meat here so it doesn't bow up, but you know, let the edges, kind of like a speaker cone, you know, the edges of a speaker cone are always kind of elastic. So, um, And then I X-braced it and I replaced the five braces that were in the back uh, with four, because that's pretty much what Martin and Gibson have. And Harmony for some reason always puts five in there. But then I did a regular OM sized and pattern X bracing taken right off uh, a Martin template. So it's got a quarter inch scalloped and tapered X brace, um, two tone bars down in the belly, a solid rock maple bridge plate underneath here, uh, tone bars on the side, no popsicle stick up top, but this, the transverse, I just left the, you know, the lateral brace that was in there before. So that's the same. No adjustable truss rod in these. It does have what they call the steel reinforced neck. So there is a steel tube down in the neck that I could see when I was um, when I had the neck off. The neck has been reset as well. And then I put it all back together. Now this one had some cracks. You can see right down that side, there is a crack that went all the way around. And that's been all glued up tight and it's reinforced on the inside. And let me see here. I thought I had another one, but I've been working on a few here right now, so I'm lost. No, I guess that was the one. It does have a couple of small cracks on the back um, down here. Those are all sealed up, and those have been braced on the inside. It's got its, you know, share of patina, wear and tear here and there, you know, little stuff along the edges like this. But, I mean, this is a, you know, 60-year-old guitar, so, and the price is going to be right. It does have original tuners. Um, they're a little bit stiff, but I've lubed them up, and they're very functional. But, you know, they're they're not as smooth as a brand new Waverly, that's for sure. But, but this is just a great player now. And um, I like to call these like the poor man's, you know, triple uh, O 17 or something. fingers. I'll tell you, it sounds a lot different than it sounded with the ladders. Good sustain now.
inch and you know what I'm gonna double check myself right now while we're on camera I think it's inch and three-quarter nut um, again like I said I've been working on so many yep inch and three-quarter nut we do have uh, about two and an eighth string spacing down here on the bridge it's got a bone saddle it's got the original nut um, frets original I kind of dressed them cleaned them up a little bit they're not huge they're kind of skinny little you know old-school harmony Sears and Roebuck type frets but um, still seem to have plenty of life left on them. Finger style, it's a little narrower than I like. I like two and five sixteenths instead of two and an eighth. What's a sixteenth? But whatever. Anyway. Excuse me. Anyway, 1960s Harmony H165, X braced, neck reset, fret dress, brand new pickguard. Still got the peeling on it. I kind of dig these. This is like a Kalamazoo KG14 style pickguard. Kind of a you know weird second cousin of a Gibson, but I think it just looked pretty cool. So still got the film on it. I keep wanting to peel that off so it'll see what it looks like, but I'm trying to leave it on for the buyer. So. Thanks for watching. See you later.